video, I'm going to show you how to put a palette together in order to send to Amazon. So there are three important measurements and weights that you need to know when you're sending palettes into Amazon. So firstly, the weight of a single palette when complete can't weigh more than 500 kg. The second measurement that you need to know is the height of a palette. The height of a single pallet once stacked cannot be more than 180 centimeters. And the third measurement that you need to know is actually for your pallet that your goods are going to be stacked on. When you are sending a pallet into Amazon, it needs to be 1,000 millimeters times 1,200 millimeters, otherwise known as one meter by 1.2 meters. So I've just measured this pallet in height. It's 150 centimeters, which is a tick and meets Amazon's requirements. And the weight of this pallet is about 490 kg, therefore I'm going to leave it as this. If the weight on the pallet was a bit lighter, I could probably do another layer and make use of the full height. So in terms of where you can actually get your pallets from, what you can do is Google pallets near me and you will find lots of vendors who sell pallets of different sizes. So you let them know the size you want and they will let you know the price of the pallet. For myself, I've been reusing pallets from deliveries we've been getting from wholesalers. Also, because of the line of work my dad is in, he's actually able to get me pallets for free as well. If you'd like to see other ways to reduce fees on Amazon in order to increase profits, then you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. So what I've intentionally done is got boxes, this measurement. What I figured out is that this box is good for our products. I can essentially fill this box up to 23 kg, which is the maximum box weight that Amazon accepts for any boxes going into Amazon if you're sending multiple things in there. So on the palette, what I've done is the first two layers are 23 kg. So all the boxes on the first bottom two layers are 23 kg. And what you need to do is put the heaviest boxes on the bottom and then put a caution heavy box on each side of the box. That's because these boxes weigh 23 kg. And then the next two layers of the palette they are lighter items, so the heavier ones are going to crush the lighter ones. And so this is how you should build your pallet. The heavy items go on the bottom and the lighter ones go on the top. So when you're sending pallets into Amazon, you need to do the exact same thing that you do when you send boxes into UPS. So each box on the pallet requires a label similar to what you would do if you are sending boxes into UPS. So now I've added the box labels to all the boxes and you can see the first and the second layer. I've sort of done a brick layer effect. Really that should be all through the pallet, but I'm not going to change it now. It makes the pallet more sturdy when things are in a brick layer effect. So this palette is now ready to be wrapped. So I'm going to wrap it, make it into one unit. The last part of putting together your palette is putting on the palette labels onto each side of the palette. So you need one and one, two, three, and the other side, so you need four. Once that is complete, then your palette will be ready to send to Amazon. There are a few options you can use in order to send your palette into Amazon. What I'm going to do is head over to ScreenShare and show you a few different options. For areas to use to send your palette into Amazon, there are two popular choices. The first one is palette online and the second one is palette line. I'm going to briefly walk you through both. So palette online is probably the most easiest option, but it's not the cheapest. And it's easy because if you're sending a palette to Amazon, you click click to send palette to Amazon, you then type in your postcode, you select the fulfillment center and you select your palette size and weight and then you get a quote. Generally to send a palette to Amazon using palette online costs around 65 pound. You then have palette line. This takes a little longer to get set up. However, they do have the cheapest option to send your palette into Amazon. So to get set up, you come to palette line you then go to contact. What you're going to want to do now is call this number or email and tell them where you want your pallet to be collected from. You will then be put in touch with a local branch of theirs. You will then set up a credit account where they'll pick your pallet up and then you pay after it's been delivered. It does take a bit longer to get set up, but pallet line is actually the cheapest option and it costs around £40 in order to send a pallet into Amazon using pallet line. Do not come on the website and try and book directly through the website because then you will get an inflated price in order to send your pallet. What you want to do is get connected with a local 
firm next to you, set up your account and then send in your palettes that way. So the palette you've just seen me make, if I was to send that via UPS, it would have cost around £140 to send. Using palette line setting up an account, it only cost me £40 in transportation fees. Therefore, you can really see the cost savings you can make if you send palettes into Amazon. There are a lot of weights, sizes and dimensions you do need to be aware of when you are sending palettes into Amazon. So what I'm going to do is put a free download in the description box below with all the measurements and weights that you require, just so you know exactly what you need to look for when you are sending palettes into Amazon. Additionally, the downloadable PDF will contain crucial information about when you should and should not send palettes into Amazon. This is because at certain times of the year it can be detrimental to your Amazon business if you do try and send palettes to Amazon. Therefore it is imperative that you read the downloadable palette cheat sheet before sending in your first palettes into Amazon. I've been Emma Louise Hamilton and if you found this video useful be sure to check out some of my other videos linked here.